scientists argue it might be as old as 26.7 billion years, twice our earlier estimate. The Big Bang. It wasn't an explosion in space, but an explosion of space. From an infinitely small point, the universe began expanding. In the first fraction of a second, a period we call the Planck Epoch, the universe was unimaginably hot and dense, so dense that our current laws of physics can't fully describe it. Within these earliest moments, the four fundamental forces, gravity, electromagnetism, and the strong and weak nuclear forces, began to take distinct forms, parting ways from a single unified force. Then, inflation. In much less than a blink of an eye, the universe expanded faster than the speed of light, stretching tiny quantum fluctuations to macroscopic scales. These would eventually seed the galaxies and vast structures we see today. As microseconds turned into seconds, the universe cooled enough for the first subatomic particles to form. Quarks and gluons danced and merged, giving birth to protons and neutrons. Hundreds of thousands of years later, the universe continued to cool and expand, allowing electrons to orbit nuclei, forming the first atoms, hydrogen. The universe transformed from a plasma soup to a transparent expanse. From that intense, mysterious beginning, the foundations were laid for the creation of stars, galaxies, planets, and eventually, us. The universe's first moments are a testament to the majesty and intricacy of cosmic evolution. But one question has teased human curiosity for ages. Just how old is this grand cosmic tapestry? Since Edwin Hubble's observations in the 1920s, we've believed the universe is expanding. And from this, we deduced its age to be about 13.8 billion years, based on observations made by the Hubble Space Telescope and other instruments. But a recent study flips this narrative. Now scientists argue it might be as old as 26.7 billion years, twice our earlier estimate. The James Webb Space Telescope, launched with great anticipation, promised a view farther and clearer than ever before. Now, with its unmatched infrared capabilities, its spotted galaxies so distant and ancient, they're challenging our entire understanding. These observations, revealing galaxies from just 300 million years after the Big Bang, have rewritten our cosmic history. These distant galaxies observed by the JWST weren't small or immature, but vast and well-formed. Their advanced state so early in the universe's history implies an older cosmic arena. Our original age estimate of the universe stemmed from studies of the Cosmic Microwave Background, or CMB, an ethereal glow, a relic from a time when our universe was just a baby, a mere 380,000 years old. But now, with JWST's findings, the narrative is more intricate than we thought and it might explain some inconsistencies previously observed by the Planck satellite. Launched in 2009, the Planck satellite had a singular mission, to observe the universe's earliest light, the cosmic microwave background with unprecedented precision. As Planck surveyed the skies, it painted a picture of the universe's baby photos. But here's where things got interesting. Within this intricate tapestry of cosmic radiation, Planck found inconsistencies. Subtle temperature fluctuations and clumpiness patterns scattered throughout the CMB. These minuscule variations are not random. They are the echoes of primordial seeds that would evolve into the galaxies and vast cosmic structures we witness today. Among Planck's revelations was the cold spot, an enigmatic region cooler than its surroundings, a cosmic puzzle yet to be pieced together. However, these inconsistencies didn't entirely align with predictions. According to our current cosmological models, anchored in a universe aged 13.8 billion years, these discrepancies shouldn't exist. They challenge our very understanding of the universe's birth and growth. If our universe truly underwent cosmic inflation, it would have stretched out any inconsistencies leading to a homogeneous temperature across the cosmic microwave background. If the universe is as young as 13.8 billion years, we can't reconcile the inconsistencies we observe. 
an older universe closer to 26.7 billion years, might be the missing piece to this cosmic puzzle. Dark matter, making up about 27% of the universe, plays a critical role in the formation and clumping of structures in the cosmos. While our familiar atoms account for just 5% of the universe's content, dark matter, in its silent majesty, outweighs them by over five times. We can't see it, but we see its effects. From the way galaxies cluster to the bending of light around massive cosmic structures, dark matter's gravitational influence betrays its presence. The new findings suggest that dark matter might behave differently than we currently understand. If the universe is indeed older, then dark matter's role in the early epochs of the universe requires re-evaluation. Its interactions, density, and influence on early galaxy formation could be vastly different from our current models. The James Webb's revelation of mature galaxies existing so soon after the Big Bang is a game changer. These aren't the primitive galaxies we expected to find in such an early time frame. Their existence prompts questions. How did they form so quickly? What processes were at play to allow such rapid maturation? Cosmic inflation, the theorized exponential expansion of the universe shortly after the Big Bang, is central to this debate. No one knows the specific mechanism that drove inflation, but the most widely accepted explanation is based on quantum field theory and involves a hypothetical scalar field called the inflation field. However, if the universe is older, our understanding of inflation's duration, rate, and influence on the universe's large-scale structure may need revision. Such a significant shift doesn't just alter a date in a textbook, it challenges our place in the cosmic timeline and invokes deeper philosophical and spiritual reflections. The potential 26.7 billion year age could provide the necessary time frame for inflationary processes to produce the universe we observe today. This isn't merely about adding a few billion years to the universe's age. It's a paradigm shift. The pillars of cosmology, from the rate of expansion to the behavior of fundamental forces, all come under scrutiny. The James Webb Space Telescope is turned from an observer to a cosmic provocateur. As it gazes deeper into space, it's not just galaxies it's revealing, but potentially the very secrets of our cosmic ancestry. As JWST continues its cosmic probe, we anticipate more revelations. Each discovery, each distant galaxy, brings us closer to understanding our universe's true age. The beauty of science lies in its adaptability. As new evidence emerges, we adjust our sails, refine our theories, and sail forth into the vast ocean of the unknown. Our home, this pale blue dot, remains a bastion of curiosity in the immense cosmos, and as we peer out, we continue our eternal quest for understanding, unity, and our place in the grand narrative. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.